Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 6th of March until the 12th of March 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Two of Swords. In the past, you were being faced with a difficult decision in term of your relationship but you were attempting to hide from it and pretending to yourself and others that if you ignore the decision long enough, it will go away of its own accord. However, the decision will not go away simply by your willing it to depart. Your conscience will eventually force you into facing your refusal to deal directly with the situation. The Two of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that life's decisions are frequently quite difficult and raise the possibility of painful consequences. However, you must take the bull by the horns and make your decisions with your best intentions, fully aware of the possible consequences. Avoidance will ultimately lead to a greater conflict. The blindfolded woman in this card is also an indication that you lack the information you need to make the right decisions at this time. You may be missing something, such as threats or potential risks, alternative solutions, or key pieces of information. Once you are able to remove your blindfold and see the situation for what it really is, you will be in a much better position to determine your path forward. Research your options more widely, seek outside opinions and feedback, and ask yourself what you are missing here. Why is this decision so challenging to make? What extra information do you need? The Two of Swords often represents a stalemate where there is no winner or loser. You may be at loggerheads with another person and failing to see each other's points of view. What is needed is a truce where you either agree to disagree or you seek to understand each other's points of view before coming to a final solution. Thus, not only does this card represent potential conflict through a stalemate, it also represents making peace through a truce. Similarly, the Two of Swords can reflect indecision and being at an impasse with regards to an important matter. Again, there is only so much that you can try to put off. At some point or another, you are going to have to make a decision or have a point of view in order to get things moving again. The second card for you is representing your present love life. Your card is the King of Wands. You are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieved a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. 
the appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The negative aspect of the King of Wands is that he can be arrogant and even aggressive in his pursuit of his goals. He may be conscious or unconscious of this. For example, most of the time he does not show enough restraint to know when assistance is not needed or wanted, and he can sometimes make things worse by doing what he thinks is the right thing. Furthermore, once successful, he may become easily carried away with his newfound status and grandeur. He shows determination and vision to accomplish his goals at any cost, and while he is often a respected leader, there can be instances where he is prepared to go above the heads of others in order to fulfill his own dreams and agendas, potentially putting others offside. This king can also become easily distracted by bigger and better things and he can become so accustomed to attention that he can take other people for granted. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is. The Four of Swords. There will be a period of rest and recovery after a time of challenge in your relationship. In the meantime, the Four of Swords provides a new challenge to stay silent and inactive. This is the time build up your mental strength. Meditate and spend time in a calm atmosphere. You need to replenish your strength and spend time in spiritual thinking. You need to rest and relax. The Four of Swords is a reminder that after every crisis and before every new challenge, there is always a time of relaxation and contemplation. Constant stress and tension will break even the hardest and most resilient of people but brief periods of rest enable you to refresh your energy, concentration and focus, ready for the next challenge. These rests should be used wisely, to heal the body and ready the mind. The Four of Swords is also a sign that you can stop worrying, put down your defenses and take a breather from the chaos around you. For the moment there is a truce and you can catch your breath without being attacked again. However, bear in mind that a truce and peace are not the same thing. The Four of Swords is a guarantee that challenges will return to your life as soon as you are ready to face them, so make the most of the stillness and quiet you have earned but never lose sight of the fact that the battle is not yet over, and that there is still work to be done. This card suggests that now is the time to rest from some difficult times, perhaps the trauma of breakup or departure, relationship or family problems, financial and health worries, stress and conflict. Take a break. This is also not the time to make decisions, particularly when you are at your most vulnerable. In a practical sense, the Four of Swords is an indicator that you need to have some time out from your current circumstances, to reflect and review your progress so far. This is a good time to re-evaluate and reassess your priorities. Create some time and space to reflect on what has worked well, what has not worked well and what you need to change for the future. Pausing for reflection after each major challenge will position you well for success in the future. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is. The Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. The Romance Angels guide you to initiate romance with flirtatiousness, which entails smiling with your eyes as you connect with others. It doesn't necessarily involve sexuality, although it can. Flirting is playful in nature, and playfulness is the heart of romance. If you're in a relationship, flirting with your partner can revive passion. If you're single, this activity can attract new friendships as well as a love relationship. 
drawing this card can simply mean that making more eye contact with others will help you connect with people. This is especially true if you smile and say hello more often. Everyone you meet is a potential friend, and studies show that most people are introduced to their mates through mutual acquaintances. Therefore, form new friendships both as a way of meeting a new partner and to increase your enjoyment of life. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.